Hey everyone, welcome back to another Momentum Monday blog talking about the top six local SEO tips for small businesses. This is meant for small local businesses, whether you know a retail product or service-based business. We're gonna go over these six tips. Now, there's a way that we can break these down into a lot more detail, and I'm gonna give a lot of great shout outs to the best content resource providers out there in this article. So we'll put this out via video and also in written blog format so you can follow all these links, all these resources, all these articles. Uh, let's jump into it really quickly. Um, my name's Mac and I blog and talk a lot about local SEO specifically. I was able to build my uh, repair shops in Philadelphia called Phone Repair Philly. Uh, we just dominate the local listings, local map pack which generates 70% of my revenue which is why I feel like I have a reason to talk about this. Plus, having worked at Google, uh, I hope to provide value to you and your small business. If you have a business and you need help ranking it higher, comment your business below in the YouTube video or on social media, wherever you're seeing this video. Comment what business you have and we'll look into it. See how you can rank more uh, above your competition, rank higher for local search terms. So, let's break this down into six local SEO tips for small, typically retail, local service-based businesses First, and most importantly, in my opinion, for people that use Google, you're gonna be ranking in the map pack. Uh, like I said, so if we're searching for cell phone repair you know, shops in Philadelphia, let's say, and I'm gonna minimize this here so we can see this. Uh, we're gonna see right here in the local listing map pack. I get 70% of my business, you know, almost 60, 70% of my traffic from Google, um, and specifically, most of my, you know, leads and business comes from the local map pack. This is the Google My Business is how I set up and manage these. So Google My Business, what that is, uh, in this blog, uh, we have a video that says, you know, what is Google My Business? Uh, I talk about this in detail. It is a free local resource for small business owners or any business owner that has a physical address. Uh, you can set up your Google My Business. You go to, you just search for Google My Business. Um, and you get a free login, free account, and you can optimize this account, which we talk about in some other videos. Create your listing for free, rank in the map pack. There's a lot of tips and tricks for how to use Google My Business. Uh, for example, uh, here's a resource about setting up the account and how to use the account from Google. Bright Local is one of our partners. They talk about what is Google My Business, how does it work, how, how do you optimize it. You can get a free uh, test and audit with them. Um, so Google My Business, that is my number one suggestion for how to rank higher locally as a small business owner. It is an amazing resource and it's getting uh, easier and more friendly to use. They have a mobile app that you can use, which I strongly recommend. Make sure you're completely optimized on that platform. Next and most important for local SEO for small businesses is your local listings. These are other listings, directories, citations. Um, that point back to your website, that point back to your business. Uh, here you can see in this video from GoDaddy, uh, it's talk of, talking about local business listings and how to boost them, you know, what they are, how they work. Here's a great article by HubSpot with the 57, which is a lot, online local business directories. Some people refer to them as citations or local listings or directories. Essentially, it's a reference point uh, typically with a link and your name, address, and phone number pointing back to Google um, that communicates who your business is, what you do, where you are, all that good information. Uh, it typically contains this information, name, address, phone number, links to your website, company description, and some media, some content. Here are the free business listing resources. Obviously Facebook, Apple, Google, LinkedIn, social medias, and they each have domain authority ranked out of 100. The higher and better that authority is, the more you want that listing. Trust me when I say that. So fill these out, make sure you have these set up. Um, they ranked it in order of importance, like Chamber of Commerce, you know, find us local. All these are great, great listings, great, uh, great directories to be on. Um, and then what is local SEO? Uh, here's an article by Cora talking about what local SEO is. Uh, there's a lot of comments and you know people talking about that there. Both of these are in this as well. So local listings, incredibly important. It takes a lot of time to optimize, which is why you can use Bright Local, Moz, or Yext, but uh, that's number two. Number three, website optimizations. Also really important. Google still cares about your website. They care about who's linking to it, what content you have, if it's optimized for SEO. 
Um, here's a great video by WordPress talking about website optimizations. I would definitely check this out. Uh, Ahrefs put this out on YouTube and they're great for SEO. They have an incredible software, an incredible platform that can tell you all about your business. You can do a free audit with them and find out what's working, what's not. Uh, things to really consider and pay attention to. Page speed, mobile friendliness, content, and backlinking. Uh, there's some other videos out there, even some that we've created, talking about this. So actually this video was from GoDaddy, which we'll link there, and this one's from Ahrefs. Now, uh, there's another resource here from DreamHost talking about how to optimize your website. Typically, most websites are built with WordPress, but there's other website builders and platforms like Weebly, Wix, Squarespace, and then custom ones as well. Search engine optimization of the website is incredibly, incredibly important. So make sure you're optimizing it. Uh, make sure you set up your Google Search Console. Uh, you can use SEMrush for auditing. Uh, you can use a lot of these platforms to find out how to optimize that website even more and make sure you're paying attention to the page speed, mobile friendliness, content, and metadata. Metadata is essentially you know, creating a title and description and optimizing the entire page for SEO. Uh, there's some free resources out there like Meta SEO Inspector, which I love, it is chill. Next we have the article from Entrepreneur Magazine. They're not a huge resource for SEO, but they have a cool article here talking about four steps to optimizing your website. Check that out. Um, next we have, number four is content. People talk about content all the time. I'm sort of rambling here, but I wanna get through this. Content is still incredibly important and even growing more so. Uh, great video here from Moz, which you'll see uh, where we're talking about um, the how to build killer content. So Moz does these whiteboard Fridays where they talk about keyword mapping here and creating killer content. Hit them with a little subscribe button. Uh, but then we also have an article from WordStream. What is SEO content? How do we create it? WordStream, uh, they're really well known for their software for PPC, Google Ads, but they're also talking about content now. What is SEO? How do we create content for that? Doing keyword research, optimizing that content around keywords, uh, creating product authority or service pages. Uh, so take a look at this article. We've also linked it here. And uh, then we have the article from Yoast, which is really great as well. The Ultimate Guide for Content SEO. Um, so this article talks about how to create the, the content, how to optimize that content for SEO, how to structure your website, copywriting, research, all that fun stuff. Check out that article. Yoast is a great resource. Incredible plugin for WordPress too. Reputation management number five. Reputation management. This is essentially uh, making sure you have a really good social reputation online, whether it's Google My Business reviews, Yelp reviews, social media reviews, uh, responding to comments, thanking people for writing reviews. Miles Becker does a great job in this video. Definitely subscribe to him. He puts out great content about SEO, branding, free tools. Uh, here he talks about reputation management, making sure you have a good reputation, encouraging reviews, uh, responding to those reviews, and making sure people care about who you are and what you're doing. So check him out. There's another article, nine key points for cleaning up your online reputation. Um, so you know, making sure you, you have these good reviews, making sure you, you know, get positive responses and responding encouragingly to people with negative responses. Um, you don't want to lash out on people. It's, it's bad blood, bad business, you know? Rand Fishkin, one of my guys. Rand's a great guy. He started Moz. Here he talks about reputation management, what it means for SEO. Uh, Google sees reputation management, specifically reviews as content. So they care about you getting reviews and responding to reviews. There's a funny video here. Check that out. Check out Rand. Uh, great dude. Uh, great article. Last but not least, backlinking. You probably heard of backlinking. Don't do spammy backlinking. Do trustworthy, authoritative link building through relationships, through content. Here's a really good video. Brian Dean does an incredible Today job putting exactly. out videos about SEO and content. Uh, you know, he has a good following online. He does a link building video here and he just crushes it, so check him out. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of that video. If you have any questions, please let me know, and uh, we'll make sure that we can help you with that. Uh, next, we have uh, this video from Moz. What are backlinks? How do they work? Um, also, really incredible. Um, check that out if you can. Um, it, you know, Moz is great at creating really good content, and, and you know, talking about backlinks is really important. 
Um, last but not least, we have uh, this article from Impact. Impact put out a really good article talking about um, you know, their backlinking strategy in 2019, how it's changed, how you want to be less spammy, less spammy um, guest blogging, you know, content creation to get backlinks, getting bloggers, uh, creating unique content. So check that out as well. And that rounds out the top six local SEO tips. Comment which tip uh, was your favorite or which tip you're confused about, and I can give you some more information. Um, please hit that subscribe button. It's really important. If you have any questions, follow us at Need Momentum, um, at Momentum Digital on all of our social channels. If you have any questions about me, connect with me on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. Happy to help you out wherever I can. I'm creating a course talking about local SEO for small businesses, and I, I hope I can be an asset and a valuable resource for you. So thank you again for watching another episode of Momentum Monday. Um, please go out and make a difference. Build up your SEO. It made a huge difference for my company, and it will for you too. All right, cheers, and have a great week.